Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Smart Trader. This is Dias Paul and thank you so much for all your likes, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. If you are a new viewer, then definitely go to our channel and watch all these videos. And if you're liking all these learning type of videos and tricks and advices type of videos, then you can hit this subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get all the notifications. For the ones who wants additional services, always WhatsApp 7892652481 is our number. For the ones who wants to be part of my secret Telegram channel, either you can open your account in Zeroda, Upstock, Angel Broking or Alice Blue to be part of my secret Telegram channel. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the Bandhan Bank because Bandhan Bank fell around 10 percentage and uh, there will be a lot of reasons. So I thought I'll dig into the reason to make you understand how to check out all these reasons and how to identify the reason behind it and what is the opportunity we can make out from these type of homeworks. So by doing all this step by step, I'm sure after a few days, a few months, we get a better idea how to analyze a fall or a going up, how to catch these type of stocks. So for example, today Bandhan Bank fell 10% and I know Nifty also has fallen, Bandhan Bank has pulled the Nifty and all, all over uh, banks have come down also. But there are other sectors which are doing good, for example, Tata Motors, you see positive 8% up. So there is something bad in terms of Bandhan. Now what is this bad? Is the company doing bad, something wrong with the company that the stock fell? Because if a stock falls 10%, now psychology of traders is okay, tomorrow onwards this bank is going to fall like S bank because something bad is there and it keeps falling, falling and falling. Yes, that is a psychology of people. But few traders, what they do, they try to investigate to understand the reason for the fall. Is it a good or is it a normal fall or they will try to dig in for an opportunity. So let's try to dig in slowly to see what is the actual reason. Now today you see Bandhan Bank has gone a bit down that is gap up only has become a big gap up and then it has gone a little bit down. I would not say a big fall because a big fall was because of gap down and then during trading looking at that people started shorting psychology of people of traders intraday traders they would have shorted the trade and later it tried to come up. Now if it was a bad news or something it would have just fallen and fallen it would have gone from here still it would have gone down in a 45 degree like it's sloping type it would have fallen right so now let's see what is the reason why this fell is it a good thing or is it a bad thing or is it an opportunity to buy from here so the news is the company sold that is the stake the promoter stake they have sold from 60 percent to 40 percent because not because the company is doing bad because it's a regulation by the rbi so you see the rbi imposed restrictions on branch expansion of bandhan bank which specializes in lending small borrowers and all that okay so it failed to lower its stake to 40 percent okay so actually they had you know, you know company will have 100 percent where they give it to the public and they will have remaining like 50 60 percent so this bank had 60 percent stake as a promoter stake they had 60 percent of the company because according to the rbi rules these private banks should have only 40 percent so because of that rule they had imposed some restrictions on this bank that they cannot expand their branch they can't even expand because they have an uh, uh, imposed restriction from the rbi so therefore to ensure they are going with the rules and regulations they had to sell 20 percent around 20 percent round off they had to sell to meet 40 percent now they have 40 percent stake in this particular in their company so now they match the rbi rule now they are free to do whatever expansion they want and all those things are there so therefore it is not a negative because you see he cut his stake to 40 percent from 60.95 that's what i told from 60 they brought it to 40 to match the rbi rules so it's not a bad thing the company is doing normal the company is doing good and because to meet the rbi regulations they had to sell it to the open market so there was a block deal i guess so they sold all the share at some agreed price or something so that's why the handover happened and because of this people psychology people will short it but if i look at the company's performance if you just go and see how the past every year every year bandhan bank is doing good the earning is doing good and they have also mentioned you see this um um bandhan financial holding shares in india lender block deal and you can just go through all these uh, reports in online this is economic time so it is a good performing company it's a good performing bank so there is nothing wrong whatever i research there is nothing wrong and a lot of analysts are still giving a buy on this i mean i'm not saying very good but average 60 to 70 percent rating is there on buy on this stock still and also if you look at today's delivery even though it fell you see 36 percent of the people have taken delivery so it's not a bad bad thing because if a stock falls or there is something wrong nobody will hold it they will exit their delivery or uh, they may do an intraday shorting and they will close their position they'll book their profit today but most of them are holding these uh, positions in this particular stock or delivery quantities so that means 
it's an opportunity for them right so traders there are few traders who are analyzing the situation maybe now correction happened because of the news reaction i say overreaction right so this may be an overreaction so maybe today i, I would say a long term because reaction can happen tomorrow people who don't know about these things will again go and short thinking okay it's gonna fall it's gonna fall people will panic and they will sell their delivery right holdings so it may fall one or two days three four days later a correction can happen because if you see on a one day chart this bank was doing good you see it is doing good it was up i mean latest the virus and all stuff it came down and later it was correcting itself it was in around 500 600 levels it came to 100 levels and now it is correcting it's an opportunity now because of these reason yes you can see a dip again so that becomes an opportunity for you if you see the 200 ema the moving average is also away so from the next dip or maybe if rsi reaches down then from the next dip there, there is a lot of opportunity for traders or investors basically investors to take positions i'm just giving my point of view you can tell me what is your point of view in the comments if you think from a different angle i'm just trying to tell from my angle my experience so you can take an advantage from that level at least till the moving average i'm not saying it's going to recover and come back to the same old position where it was at least i would say it can come towards its moving average as per that day now today if you see moving average is around 362 later if this comes down and if moving averages comes down maybe it comes to 320 350 340 then that is your limit okay so keep that in mind so it's an advantage the company is doing good everything is doing good just that they had to sell their stake because of the regulation nothing wrong in this particular company so these are the opportunities which i would like to mention for you whenever something falls or something goes up really high if tata motors is going really high just go and check out and just research about it just read some they are look at little bit of the earnings and fundamental and see what are the recommendation given by top uh, brokers research reports just read through them you'll get to know about the earnings fundamentally are they good what is the risk uh, is the bank doing good what are the ratings even by different companies these are things will give you an idea that yes it's an opportunity to buy or opportunity to exit or should i take some chances over here so hope this type of analysis or thought process will help you guys so if you guys like such type of videos then hit that like button see you soon in my next video with latest news see you soon take care bye bye